Hello everyone, I'm Kogi from Kogi.in and uh, I'm going to show you how to check if your handset supports VR. Now here is a VR headset or virtual reality headset and before buying this headset, the common question that people ask is how do I know if my handset supports VR? Now this VR headset actually creates a virtual reality environment but uh, almost all of the work is done by your smartphone. So the best way to check if your handset supports VR is to use your smartphone. The process is the same for Android or Apple devices. I'm using an Android device. Just go to the Google Play and download VR apps. Choose any of the VR app. Now, since I'm going to test it, I'm going to choose something that is of a smaller size. I'm going to download and install the SeaWorld VR2 application. And once you install this application, just open it and run it. The application size is around 30 MB. You will get three options. Choose the center one, that's the 3D VR. You should get two screens, as you can see here. One is on the left and the other is on the right. Move the handset and the contents should move. You don't really need a VR headset to check it. Just move the handset and you should see the contents moving, just like as seen here. This means that this handset is loaded with all the required sensors for a perfect VR experience. Now here is another handset and I'm going to try the same. When I move the handset, I am able to see the contents that are actually moving on both the screens, the left and the right. The gyro sensor is required. Here is another handset that actually has only three sensors. The gyro sensor is missing and as you can see, there is no activity on this handset. Now if you get the same on your handset, it means that your handset does not support VR. The required sensors are missing. So before buying a virtual reality headset, you can use your smartphone to check if your handset supports VR or if it does not. If your handset supports VR, then go ahead and buy a good quality VR headset and enjoy the VR experience.